the flock. Chapter 8 Excuses Not sleeping yet? I spoke as I saw Chigurh going somewhere down the halls. Where are you heading to? He turned to face me and we made eye contact for a second before he looked away. Not your business. He turned back to walk away as a smirk appeared on my face. A ride ACL tear. He froze. How, how did you figure it out? He turned back to me. He turned back to face me, almost looking scared. I'm a top med student for a reason. After seeing your gameplay, I knew something was wrong, I explained. In today's game, you were glancing down at your right leg, so I paid more attention to it. He looked at the ground, facing his defeat. Well then, let's walk and talk. I smiled, walking next to him. I was going to invite him to my room, but remembered Bashiro was sleeping there. Can't let anyone know about that. I picked up the injury a year ago. Chigori finally started to open up. The doctor said if I injured the same spot again, my playing days would be a jeopardy. I nodded, mentioning him to continue, but he just sighed. Why were you staring at your knee on the field today? Quite a lot of times too. Did something, or perhaps someone, irritated you? I asked, trying to learn about him more. He nodded. I used to be like Isagi. I used to have an amazing weapon like him. I hung. I used to get so pumped up after scoring and scoring over and over again. I had the dream of being a striker. I listened closely, trying not to fall asleep. But when my leg healed, I'm scared to get injured again. I'm scared of losing my dream and soccer that gave me pleasure. He suddenly stopped walking. I came to Blue Lock to find a reason to give up on my dream. He looked me in the eyes and continued. After seeing Isagi's goal, I might be able to give up. I smiled at him and he gave me a confused look. That's all just excuses, Chigari. I explained in a soft tone. Don't blame it on Isagi. I know you don't want to give up. I took a step closer to him. If you are not even prepared to give up everything, then you'll never fulfill your dreams. Chigori said nothing afterward, but continued to stare at me in shock. Your excuses are lame, Chigori. If you were to give up, you would have done that ages ago. You're just lying to yourself. Chigori slowly backed away from me as he shook his head. You know nothing about me. Like before. A smile appeared on my face as I walked past him. Why are you scared? You have your teammates to rely on. With the final wave, I walked back to my room. I hope I wasn't too harsh on him and said unnecessary things. I was actually trying to be nice. I was nice, right? Whatever, it's tiring enough for me already. I walked down the halls as I heard voices discussing. I peeked behind a wall and saw Kwon with twins. They seemed to be talking about something. I couldn't hear them that well. Oh well, I'm so tired. I walked back to my room, but bumped into someone while making a turn. As I stumbled backwards, I looked up to see a super tall guy with white hair. His face gives a tired expression. Sorry, are you okay? He hummed and gave me a confused expression. A girl? What are you doing here? Are you a player? I gave him a close eye smile as I laughed nervously. <laughs> no, I'm just a nurse. I opened my eyes to see a peak of interest rush through his face. Well, Nagi, right? He nodded. Seeing him standing right in front of me really shows his height. He's so tall for a 17 year old. What are you doing? What were you doing? It's quite late at night. I tilted my head as he pouted. I couldn't sleep and wanted my mobile back so I can play games. I tried finding that bowl cut's room but got lost. He looked up at the ceiling thinking while speaking. 
I chuckled at his childlike, I chuckled at his childish action. You do know you can have it, right? Until you earn your points by scoring to get without a word. I trailed off as he sat down on the ground. I did score. I won my game. He was basically a child having a tantrum in public, though I found it cute. I kneeled down in front of him, still flashing my smile. You wanna come over to my room tomorrow? I have a Nintendo Switch. I'll let you borrow it. I winked while noticing his change of face reaction. Okay, can we go now? He also his usual poker face, but his tone of voice changed. I giggled. No, I said tomorrow. Go to sleep now. It's nearly 12 a.m. I slipped back up, lending him a hand as he shook his head. I'll wait until it's past 12 then. It'll be tomorrow, right? My eyes widened at his smartness. What a genius. Tomorrow evening only, I added as I swam out again. I took my hand and stood up. Uh, what was the name again? He also he stood up. My N. Y N L N, I simply responded. Just call me my N though. He nodded, then started walking away until he turned around. Where's Team Me's room? posting again like usual but anyways i would first like to apologize for the background noises again my sister just started playing her piano you can probably still hear right now i'm trying to cover it with background music so i apologize if the music is very loud and i hope you can actually still hear my voice but putting that aside you guys finally got to meet nagi he's such a kitty okay <clears throat> So, I'm pretty sure starting from the next chapter, well actually, I just checked, next chapter have like 2 point something K words, I forgot. Um, so it's going to be, I guess, around 20 minutes, which for you guys is a good thing, but for me is not a good thing. That doesn't matter, I'm actually thinking of filming 2 tonight, so I'll most likely post this one today and post another one tomorrow because posting two a day just isn't my thing and yeah, I don't want to post no more today so I would like to thank you guys for nearly 9k reads and over 300 votes I'm aiming for around 350 votes by the end of next week and definitely over 10k reads over 10k reads by the end of next week which I'm pretty sure t reads are very easy to get for my book nowadays. We can get around 1k reads a day, which is a pretty good thing, and I'm happy. Happy that my book is not flopped yet. <laughs> but um, I would like to just spoil. I'm on like chapter 30, and we're actually near the end of the book. But if you do think about it, if I make a YouTube series that have like 30, 30 episodes, that doesn't, that's just, you know, way too long. I'm thinking of maybe putting two, two chapters in one and making the video longer. But the two chapters will definitely be both less than 1k words. Um, I'll think about that, but like, I don't want to make my video too long as well. Definitely not above 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm just aiming for above 5 minutes, but under 20 minutes. I guess that range should be perfectly fine. But yeah. <clears throat> um, I am going to go write a new chapter for my Wattpad. Thanks for like, I don't know, 16 followers. Getting followers on Wattpad actually isn't easy. So, thanks for the 60 followers. <laughs> and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!